I am now joined by the man of the moment, Dahi O'Shea. Dahi, how are you getting on? I'm in great form, thank you. Uh, we had a great day yesterday with all the roses, got to meet them all uh, on a one-to-one -one basis. Great fun, great stories this year, great party pieces. And we have a bunch that is that are really up for it and will cause me a lot of problem uh, on TV, I think. So who so far is the most troublesome? Oh, I, I, I couldn't name one because uh, there's 32 of them there and they're all in together. And the first time they meet you, they're, oh, how are you doing? They're nice and pleasant, but oh, yeah. You see them kind of getting very familiar and a bit of crack coming out, but uh, it's all good fun. So you're getting a bit nervous about going on stage, what they might say? Not at all. I bring it on. That's what I tell them all. Now, you've been years at this and like you're just a veteran at this stage. Are you going to do anything different this year? Um, well, we always do something different every year, so I'm sure something will happen. Like We did a, a nice bucket challenge last year, which was good fun. I ruined a lovely tux. Anyway, it was grand. It dried out after a few weeks. And we had a proposal the year before, but that stuff doesn't really manifest until the weekend. Uh, I have a few spies working, you see, on the buses, so collecting stories. Like, I might give a few to Goss. Eh, you, like. you should go on, spill the beans. And, uh, and uh, I haven't got them yet. So my, Straight away when you get them. My spies will come back to me with stories, so we'll, we'll land a few of these on them on stage, you know, so we'll have a bit of crack. But it's out of that type of stuff then that the funny stuff comes out of as well, some of the weird stuff. But um, I suppose on a serious note, my main job is to make sure that the roses are very comfortable on stage, that they, they know what's happening and that I'm not one bit kind of wondering what's happening next. So that's kind of my main job. And once you get the, once you kind of get the trust, that's all. That's you're, you're on the ball then after that. Now be honest with us. Is this not the best job in the world? It's the only job in the world. It's the only one. It's the best job ever. Ever. Even for a married man, it's brilliant. Because you're up there, you have lovely ladies next to you, and they can't say nothing to you because you're being paid for it. This is true. And speaking of married man, how is Rita and the little lad? Rita's in great form. Yeah, they're all coming down. So Michal's in great form as well. He's 17 months old and he's flying around the place. Uh, he's walking since he was 10 months. Yeah, I found him inside in a pot the last day. And uh, you really have to keep an eye on him. You could find him anywhere. I found, I got him a guitar last week. And he's, he's, he won't go anywhere now though with the guitar. So he had the, bath, he had the guitar inside in the bath now within the last day. And he drags it around behind him. So he's fierce crack. And Elmo has a guitar. So he has to have a guitar. Oh, Do you love daddy? I love Elmo, Elmo, Elmo. That's all I'm hearing. Elmo. And how is life treating in my part of the world? You're in Galway. In Galway, yeah. I've been in Galway for a long time, so uh, Galway's great. Uh, it's a place that I don't think I'll ever move out of. I lived in Dublin for a while, and uh, even though I work here a lot all the time, we're based in Galway, and it's, uh, it's, a, great, it's a great county, and uh, it's a great party town. Where in Galway are you from? Ardrahan. Oh, sure, I'm only you're, out the road from exactly, you. Exactly, as, as in, whereabouts in Ardrahan? I'm in the village. Oh, so well, I wouldn't have the money to buy a house in the village now or anything <laughs> like that. Like. I'm way out the sticks, but I'm about, I'd say about three or four or five minutes. Oh, sure, down the road for me. Yeah. Sure, and tell me this now, what's your plan for after the Rose Tree? After the Rose Tree, take it easy uh, for a few days. I'm working on a show called The Taste of Success with RT at the moment that's going out in September. So we have about six out of eight shows done, so we're kind of straight into that, maybe about two days, two or three days after it, and uh, looking forward to that as well. And then we're back in the Today Show on the 21st of September. So back on that road again. Back, back down that road, back down the road, road. back down to Cork, back down to Mora. Yeah, back down to Mora again. Looking forward to it. I spoke to Maura about two weeks ago and I hadn't spoken to her since April. And uh, that's the way we do it. That's why we get on so well. That should be great. Now, one final thing. We yeah. did mention earlier that George Hook said if he was is writing this erotic novel and that yeah. he'd get Colin Farrell to play him. If you were to write a novel, yeah. any type of novel, yeah. who would you pick to play you? To play me? Um, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, very interesting. Oh, but can't you not see the connection, no? Similarities, yes. <laughs> Dahi O'Shea, thank you very much for talking to Goss, and best of luck in Chile. Thanks very much. Thank you.